Hey Capricorn, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back to do your Terrascope reading for the first half or the last half of October. We're going into the first half of November, you guys. So I have to get in the use to saying the next thing, okay? Um, I do have your meditative pre-shuffle here. So basically crowning the reading, I have the seven of chalices and um, as opposed to having options, <clears throat> I don't really see it as that. I definitely see this more as almost like that Seven of Pentacles type of energy, like something that somebody is trying to get to grow is not growing. But this could also be options. When one thing, one door closes, another one opens. She is holding something that is actually bearing fruit or bearing green or growing as opposed to her crops, which look dismal. So even though she doesn't have this donkey as an option anymore, she definitely has this sweet potato and whatever plant is um, here. I definitely can see the confusion also in this car with all of this cloudy sky here. So um, somebody is definitely confused when it comes to options. It looks like one door is closing and somebody is basically trying to come to grips with what it is that they have left or what it is that they can have even though that door is closing okay um so the first card out was the page of wands and a page of wands here is definitely showing a sphinx that's taking the last breath out of a pharaoh so uh and kind of turning that into divine breath so um I definitely feel like you are passing on a message of passion or a, a divine message to somebody that you might feel a divine connection with. Maybe you and this person have already exchanged some type of energy or exchanged something, but um, we also have the Knight of Swords here, which is showing Gaia with her serpents here. And it's three serpents, so it could be up to three people involved in this situation. Yet again, huh? Um, I definitely see somebody else trying to avoid a disaster, but I definitely feel like somebody is trying to work more methodically, kind of stand in a truth, but not too hastily, more on a logical standpoint, a logical and honest standpoint than on, you know, what people would expect them to do or what people... Um, how others will operate, you know, because as you can see, is she very cold and stoked. She has these serpents here and honestly, quite a few cards here for you have serpents here. So a lot of people around you could either be being sneaky or viewing you as sneaky, a sneaky individual Capricorn, because we do also have the Empress here in reverse and the Empress is holding her baby. But again, there's a snake at her foot drinking her breast milk. Um... So this is definitely divine feminine energy, but maybe you are not tapped in or the person that you're dealing with aren't tapped into their divine energy. And that could be why, why I definitely feel like somebody here is divine. They feel like they met a divine counterpart. Um, you know, whenever the, them and this person exchange energy, they definitely felt the divinity between them. So I guess this can also seem like somebody is trying to get their divine counterpart on their path, start a new cycle here. But depending on the circumstances, it could be viewed as quite sneaky because here is yet another card with serpents in it. So we have three cards so far that's indicating it's some type of sneaky behavior or snaky behavior going on here. That's a lot of snakes here. And again, the Empress in reverse, I kind of view that as, like I said, somebody that's not in their divine energy, number one, or it could be a partner that's being um, flirtatious, kind of just a, a woman that knows she's sexy, knows that a lot of people notice them and they, they play on that and they, um, they flirt with a lot of different people because of that. Or um, this also can be somebody that's not being very motherly at the time. But uh, whatever the case and situation is, with the world card here and the Ace of Pentacles, I definitely feel like it's an opportunity for a new tangible beginning, a new stable tangible beginning that can really truly offer you growth at this time. So like I said, this could be literally somebody that's trying to get you to step into your divine power at this time. And you know, maybe you, maybe you lost a few things or lost a few people and this person is trying to help you see like, okay, but you still have your divinity left. So what is it that you're going to do with it? And again, this can be a platonic friend or this can actually be a divine counterpart. Somebody that's, you know, 
uh, like see the reflection of themselves in you. That's what I'm getting here, Capricorn. So, okay, let's, uh, time for the main spread. Let's get to it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The last week, the last week of October, because that's what technically it is at this time. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, the last week of October. One flew out. Oh, wow, we got the judgment here. So, whatever wasn't being seen and or heard of before is definitely being seen and or heard in the right light at this point. So, you definitely had a wake-up call of some sense. Um, it could be this wake-up call by your person. Justice. <laughs> wow. You could be dealing with a Libra here. As you can see, them holding their scales there. Their skills and their truth and their fairness and everything. So, now yeah. I'm sure going crazy. But, either way it go, uh, I definitely feel like... You feel a sense of balance around this person. They're opening your eyes to a lot. Um, I feel like they're helping you to understand a lot. They they helping you to see some of the truth that you seek. Every time I see a sword that's upwards with that that glare, like that little sparkle right there, it's like they truth is on. The six of pentacles is here in reverse. So let me see. And the chariot is here in reverse as well. Okay. So it's definitely a situation that somebody doesn't feel is moving forward because of a lack of reciprocation. Maybe it's even one-sided. Maybe somebody doesn't see something or is just now starting to see things for what it is. So they got to catch up to that other person. It could be a cancer involved here with this chariot, but it's definitely looking like a move that needs to be made that's not yet being made. So maybe somebody reluctant about making a move. Maybe it's a queen of swords energy around you, or maybe you are more in guarded queen of swords energy. But with the queen of swords in this deck, I don't really get guarded energy in this. I definitely get fairness. I definitely get somebody that uses their intuition, um, the truth seeker, the truth teller, somebody that has been through things but definitely um set themselves free and also transformed themselves a lot with this queen of swords here so um it could be this queen of swords that help you see things right or this queen of swords could be a libra for sure um the tower in reverse yet again from a different deck so somebody is definitely avoiding some type of ending or disaster or they reach trying to rebuild something that's already been taken down the moon is in reverse, so it's definitely illusions being lifted. Somebody is being disillusioned to a situation. Guards are being dropped because it looks like somebody was very guarded in this situation. And investments are being made. So let's clarify some of this with the seven of pentacles crowning here. So like I said, I definitely feel like somebody had a wake-up call or something. They, they are gaining clarity and balance in the situation. Um, that might have, you know, left them feeling kind of stagnant because of a lack of give and take in the situation, a lack of movement in the situation. Um, like I said, it could be this Queen of Swords, but at the same time, somebody is definitely trying to avoid the ending or they're trying to control the situation to go the way that they want it to go. But regardless of what cycles and cycles of lies and deception that's been had is going to come out. But somebody going to have to drop their guards and just allow this to come out. Let's see what's underneath here. Yeah, the Six of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is definitely letting go of illusions. They turning their back on the situation because somebody is actually coming forth and telling the truth to release this person. So this is definitely a situation where um, one person being honest is allowing another person to go um, on to go on with that situation, you know. So basically the truth is setting somebody free. And it could be this Queen of Swords energy. Okay, why is the judgment here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? What's being learned at this time? Judgment card for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Last half of October. Poverty, okay. Poverty is in reverse here. I'm just show you how the card in the upright first. But somebody is definitely getting out of poverty by something, moving away from a lack mentality from something that they have learned. And maybe it's this divine energy that they're learning about. 
and maybe they using a spiritual currency at this time to help people and that's pulling them that in turn them putting that good energy out is taking them out of poverty stricken situations why is the justice here Mm, false person. So I definitely feel like somebody in your midst was definitely being fake towards you, but you still prevail. Like you regaining your balance. Maybe this person treated you unfairly. Maybe they pretended to a certain extent. Um, why is the six of pentacles? This could be, like I said, unrequited love. Maybe this person even acted as though they loved you and they really did. Six of pentacles in reverse for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising distant horizon now it's like you're moving away from that you realize it doesn't serve you anymore um you realizing your worth you might be realizing like i said divine gifts i definitely picked that up in the last spread um and you ready to move forward with it like you tired of being tied down you ready to be free you know i definitely see traveling to different countries um why is the chariot here but you're not moving right right now you know this could just be like kind of in your thoughts why is the chariot here for capricorn sun moon and rising pathway you could have realized that you've been going down the wrong pathway and that's the reason or down the wrong path period and this is 35 reduced down to an eight so it could be in terms of your um uh, like i said your prosperity in which you've been going down the wrong path and you're no longer Decide to move towards things that don't benefit you in that way. Why is the Queen of Swords here, Spirit, for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? This could be the energy you in. Ever since you transformed, you know, you could be um, literally, like I said, dodging bullets and like only allowing around you people that's honest and fair. Why is the Queen of Swords here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Whatever the case is, at this point, you finally starting to see the fruits of your labor when it comes to a situation. Courthouse could be a divorce, expectations not being met. Divorce because the expectations not being met, and maybe that's by that false person because you thought this person truly loved you. Okay, so the tower in reverse was the occupation the gift in reverse uh thoughts in reverse okay this is definitely gifts in terms of intuition but i do feel like your intuition brought like your spiritual gifts and intuition definitely brought to light who was fake and you know even though you could be trying to slow up the process of transformation or the process of this ending um i definitely feel like it's going to come to an end Again, I feel like you want to go into uh, a business that has to do with your spiritual gifts. But maybe even this person tried to hold you back from doing this. They wasn't supporting you. I definitely could see somebody that wasn't supporting your dreams, for real. The main male, judician, and journey. So, yeah, it's looking like a divorce is being had. Maybe you've been secretly wanting to get this divorce. Now you're just coming out and straight up saying it. Like, look, you don't support me. Um, wow, the marriage was bad for your health. You were married. Now you're getting a divorce. Because like I said, you could be facing physical ailments because of how much this stressed you out. Despair. Somebody is in despair at this time. And maybe temporarily it's you, Capricorn, until you get yourself out of the situation. Or maybe it's this person that you're leaving behind that didn't quite appreciate you at the time. All right, so let's get some oracles of advice for Capricorn and Rising for the last two weeks of October. Yes, somebody was volatile as hell. And you moving away from that person. This person was erupting like a volcano. Now it's like you just going within. You focusing on your projects. Let me just put this in the upright. You focus on your projects. You working on things that mean an absolute lot to you. And leaving behind people that didn't really support you. Once again, you had a snake in your midst. Because uh, yet again, there's a snake sitting in the corner of the table. So that means it was definitely somebody that was like very close with you. You could have been sleeping with a snake. You know, literally, this person didn't have your best interest at heart. 
Uh, and yes, break, breaking away from this person is breaking generational curses. You know, maybe you guys have always, maybe uh, generations of matriarch line lineage was like always going through situations or attracting this type of person. And you decide, you know what, instead of me staying with this type of person and being miserable for the rest of my life, I'm just going to move on. I'm going to move towards somebody that sees me for who I am. And again, in that pre-meditated shuffle, um, Capricorn, I do see that you met somebody that you cut from the same cloth. Now, maybe it's brand new, and that's why the main spread talked mostly about whoever it is that you're moving away from. Because it seemed like, you know, after a period of figuring out your worth and figuring out that there is like-minded individuals out here, or people that's cut from the same cloth as you, you decided to stop settling with, you know, your, your partner, whether that be your husband or your wife, and you decided to move on to the person that kind of satisfy your need and your want to be accepted and, and be surrounded by like minds. Let me just get a couple of affirmations for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the last half of October. Let me get some affirmations, All right? I am in the right place, okay? So that's spirit confirming that you're walking down the right path, Capricorn. My life is a joy. And if it wasn't before, you are changing that. You're manifesting joy in your life. Go for the joy. Life is here for, for me to open. Oh, life is here for me to enjoy today, okay? I don't know why I got open out of that, but okay. Maybe you need to be more open, you know what I'm saying? I am in the right place. Okay, moving down the right path, going down the right journey. Wherever I go and whomever I meet, I find my own love and my highest good waiting for me. See, and see, that's what you're going to attract just by spirit seeing that you move away from things that don't serve you. They will be blessing you with the type of energy that will. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to Empathic Guidance, please go ahead and do so by hitting the subscribe button. Clicking that post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Giving me a thumbs up. Comment down below and checking me out on the next video. Ciao, guys.